loves fiber optics. I sure do. They're long distance, they're high performance, because they look really cool. The advantages and benefits of fiber optics are a mile long. But how can you design with them? How can you clean them? How can you repair them? Need a bit of a refresher? Yeah, I do too. Luckily, we're talking about fiber optic technology today. Yay! I sure do love my job. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Maybe you love fiber optic technology as much as I do, and you want to know even more about the newest advancements in fiber optic technology today. Well, you've come to the right place. In this episode of Chalk Talk, David Kuklinski from Neutrik joins me to discuss the Optical Con Advanced, Optical Con Light, and Optical Con Dragonfly. We take a closer look at the benefits of each of these solutions. What kind of configurations are offered with each of these fiber optic solutions and what kind of performance you can expect when using them in your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Neutrik. Hi, David. Thank you so much for joining me. It's great to be here with you today. So we're talking about Optical Con Advanced and Light. But David, before we get started, can you give us a quick review of what we will be covering today? Sure. We'll be discussing Neutrix Optical Con product line. These are rugged fiber optic solutions for environments that require protection of fiber optic cabling. Neutrix is the leading provider of professional entertainment connector systems, but our fiber optic products are used in many markets such as medical, military, and various industrial applications. Great. So in terms of Optical Con, what are the benefits that this solution brings to the table? First, our advanced series provides protection with shutters on both the cable ends as well as the chassis ends. This helps keep out dirt and dust, and these are the number one factors when using fiber optic cabling. Second, we are LC-based, so it's easy to integrate into LC fiber environments. And last, we have a proven design with 200 pounds of pull force on the cable ends with upwards of 10,000 mating cycles, and we're up to IP68 protection on certain models. The Optical Con Duo system, as the name implies, is a two-channel fiber optic system. What you see there is both the ability to plug in LCs in the front of the chassis if you don't have an Optical Con cable, and how simple the integration is in the rear of the chassis connector, again, by using LC connections. There's also some copper wires in this assembly, so you can have low voltage applications all in one fiber optic cable. Again, it's robust, low maintenance, great for mobile use. Again, that's simple integration into LC environments. And as we said, hybrid cable assemblies are, are available. The Optical Con Quad, as the name applies as well, is a four channel fiber optic system. Now this is just fiber only, four channels of fiber. And on this slide here, you see how easy it is that the four LCs plug in the back of the chassis connector. So. David, when it comes to this quad system, what are we looking at when it comes to benefits and features? So the benefits and features of the quad system, as I said, you have the ability to have four channels of fiber, both single mode and multi-mode, and you have 5,000 mating cycles with this system, IP65 rated on this particular product line. And again, real simple integration into LC environments. But because it's fiber optic, we can certainly make adapter cables that'll plug LC in the back of the chassis connector and go to other connectors that may be um, something you need, such as ST or SC connectors. Okay, and you guys also have 12 and 24 channel fiber systems as well, right? We do. We have our OpticalCon MTP 12 and 24 channel solutions. Now, I want to note here that everything we've talked about so far, the chassis connector fits in a standard D-series cutout. So that's a, an industry standard, so it's easy for people to uh, purchase panels and things that already have that cut out, and you just screw in the chassis connector. And again, the MTP is something that the breakout cable would plug in the back of the chassis connector, and as this slide shows, you have either 12 or 24 LC connectors on the other end. Okay, so what are we talking about when it comes to benefits here? Again, it's ruggedized and dirt-protected 12 and 24 channels of fiber in that small D-series cutout. These are great for point-to-point -point multi channel routing environments. Again, you can send a lot of signals down one cable. Okay, so David, I know from previous Chalk Talks that 
multi-channel split cables can be useful for these kinds of applications. Do you guys have a solution in this space as well? We do. We offer two solutions. First is our our multi-channel split cable. So down one cable, you have 12 fiber channels. And on the end of the cable, you can put any variety of optical con connector adding up to 12 channels. So for instance, I could have three quad connectors on one end. I could have two duos and a quad on the other end. Again, anything that adds up to 12 channels. And then our optical con power split, that combines, again, up to 12 channels of fiber with a locking Neutrik Paracon power connector that can handle up to 240 volts of AC power at 16 amps. So again, down one cable, you could have up to 12 fiber channels and power as well. That's a perfect solution for harsh environments and mobile applications that require both AC power and multiple fiber strands. Okay, cool. Now, David, we mentioned optical con light in the beginning of this chalk talk. So what does this solution look like? So we realized when we introduced our advanced series that there is a need for a product that would be smaller, more lightweight, and more cost-effective than the advanced series, where you don't need all the features of the advanced series. So on the Optical Con Light product line, you'll notice that, first of all, the connectors on the cable do not have shutters, also do not carry any power. It's a solution that also plugs into the same chassis connector. These are great for permanent or semi-permanent patching applications where you want a rugged tactical patch cable that's uh, much more rugged than a standard fiber optic patch panel. They have Kevlar inside for great cable retention. You could really bend it. You could roll a chair over it. You're not going to break the fiber cable. You can, if it gets caught around a door frame as you're pulling it or using it, again, it won't break the cable. And again, available in single mode and multi-mode. These things are basically 10,000 times more rugged than a regular fiber optic patch panel. Okay. So David, does the optical con light also come in a duo configuration? It does. So as I mentioned, unlike the advanced series, it doesn't have copper. So it just has two channels of fiber in it, and it plugs into the same chassis connector as the advanced series. Our quad light is exactly that. It's a four-channel fiber system plugging into the same chassis connector as its advanced version. And then the optical con MTP 12 and 24 light features, again, 12 and 24 fiber channels and that same D-series cutout that the Advanced Series has. Okay, David, so what kind of accessories do you have to help me out here? We have a variety of accessories from our power monitor to breakout boxes to cleaning adapters, couplers, reels, rack panel, adapter plates. So really, whatever you require for your application out in the field, we have an accessory for you. Great. Now let's talk a little bit about that power monitor. Sure, the power monitor is a great product for both Duo and Optical Con Quad. It basically offers simultaneous monitoring of attenuation of up to four transmission channels. So the power monitor provides an immediate kind of on-air view into the fiber optic signal strength. And you can set visual and audible alarms so that if it drops below a certain channel's power budget, that alarm will go off. So in in an application where you have a lot of fiber coming in, and if there is a, an issue with one of your fiber optic cables, having that visual and audible alarm, you can go to and check out exactly which one you have an issue with. Okay, cool. Now, David, what about the panels and cleaning tools you mentioned? Sure. Our panels and cleaning tools allow you to have some unique configurations on rack panels. So it's easy to plug our optical con connectors into what we call our Z panels. And then our cleaning tools Those are the FOCD cleaning tools. And basically on the advanced series, you have that shutter. And if you need to clean and inspect that particular connector, you take the fiber optic cleaning tool, the FOCD tool, and you put it on the end of the connector of the cable and that'll hold the shutter open. So that allows you to then easily put your scope in there to inspect the fiber optic ferrule and also clean. So as you see here, the FOCD tool goes on the end of the fiber optic connector of the cable. You can use your one-click cleaner and then do a visual inspection to see how clean your uh, fiber connection is, all with freeing up the use of, of your one hand that previously you'd have to use to hold open the shutter. Okay, great. David, do you have any examples of optical con being used in a real-world design? Absolutely. Optical cons used in a variety of applications every day from major rock concerts to major sporting events, military applications, medical applications, 
What you see here is a um, HD broadcast OB van from a customer in Germany. They're deploying our OpticalCon MTP24. So David, specifically with the OpticalCon MTP24, what issues are we really looking to solve here? So as you can see in this picture on the bottom left, this is you know the connection panel of that OB truck that I was showing you previously. They have a lot of cable coming in. You have a lot of high fiber connection counts. You might introduce a lot of dirt, a lot of opportunity to have a connector break. And of course, in the world of mobile OB vans, space and weight's a huge factor. So we can reduce all that with one MTP24 connector. Okay, cool. Can we take a closer look at that connector? What are the components involved here? Yeah, as we look at the MTP24, it's a basic standard MTP ferrule. You see here that the shutter is open. You can take a look at what that ferrule looks like. And it's two rows of 12 channels of fiber, all in that D-series cutout. This particular um, cable is very strong in terms of um, pull strength of 200 pounds. So if I were to actually mount a chassis connector, say on a ceiling, and I plugged into it, I could swing for that and never pull that cable out of that connector. So environments that are rugged and rough that need this type of protection, the MTP24 gives you a tremendous amount of fiber channels all in that single cable in a D-series cutout. Okay, so beyond what you just mentioned, what do you feel are the benefits of this solution in particular? For this type of application, you have a tremendous data capacity. You could have a lot of redundancy if that's a factor. And you're cutting down the number of cables that are required to connect, say, between truck to truck or truck to stadium. That helps with, uh, as I said, weight, size, storage, and also cost and complexity and setup and teardown time. So you're taking a lot of cables down to one cable. That makes sense. Now, David, we're also talking about Dragonfly as well, right? What are the motivations behind the creation of this solution? Neutrix Optical Con Dragonfly was created as we started to look at changing camera technologies. Cameras are going to get more sophisticated as, as we go from 4K to 8K technology, 3D, VR, et cetera. So there's going to be a need to run more data down one camera cable. And so Dragonfly allows you to accomplish that and allows us to get into new customer segments as well, where folks, again, need power and fiber all in one hybrid cable. Okay, so what kind of options do you guys offer with this Dragonfly series? First, it's a male-female system, so it doesn't require couplers to connect two ends of the cable together. It's a, a very robust hybrid camera cable solution that incorporates some newer technology with the ferrules. It's a lens-based product, so we'll get into some of that technology here shortly. Okay, so can we look under the hood of the male XP cable connector? What does that all contain? Sure, this is an exploded view of the cable connector, the male side of the Dragonfly cable connector. And if we look at the left side, starting at the very front, we increase the um, guiding nose of the connector. And so what that means from an operator perspective, if they're in an awkward situation where they need to try to fit that camera cable into the chassis connector, it's a, got a really good feel for kind of plugging in into that chassis connector. We increase the orientation sign. So again, that helps the end user see what side the cable needs to go in the chassis connector so they don't damage anything we also improved on our push-pull part of the connector versus the advanced series. It has a new ratch locking system, so it's easier to take apart if you need to repair or clean that. We incorporated, as I said, that unique lens technology, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in the presentation. We also changed the copper power contacts to be crimp contacts versus uh, the older version or solder contacts. And it's IP68 in mated condition. But we did incorporate and include our really popular and very well-received anti-kink boot. It's probably the best anti-kink boot of uh, any connector on the market today. Okay, so David, what about the female XP connector? So the female XP connector, again, incorporates the same attributes of the male connector. All the same attributes in terms of the orientation sign, the ease of assembly and repair, and uh, IP68 protection in mating conditions. Okay, so David, can we also look at the details of the chassis as well? What about the female XP version specifically? So the female Dragonfly chassis connector 
is an improvement of the advanced series where we did a couple of things. Um, first of all, it is IP68 as well. We improved the shielding. So there's more contacts from a shielding grounding perspective. The orientation signs larger. The real important thing is that it is no longer a D-series cutout. It is a limo size cutout. And the reason we did that because it's easier for customers who have older technology that are that size on interface panels or broadcast service panels, they can easily swap the old technology for this new technology without replacing the metal part of the panel. And for camera manufacturers, for both the camera uh, head and the camera control unit, we allow them to easily populate whatever solution their customer wants. Another advantage of Dragonfly and the chassis connectors is that that entire breakout assembly that plugs into the rear of the chassis connector is modular. So if you have a problem getting the chassis connector damaged, the fiber and the copper is pretty well integrated into the chassis connector. And most of the time, it's a tremendous hassle to repair a particular aspect of that breakout situation. And sometimes you have to replace the whole thing. For us, it's modular. So whatever is broken, you just replace or repair what is required to be repaired. It could be the fiber side, it could be the copper side. And so everything's modular and much easier to replace. Okay, so David, what about the male XP chassis? Again, same attributes as the female chassis side, that massive guiding nose that helps you easily connect your, the uh, cable into the chassis connector. And also so important, the back end of all that is just like the female chassis connector, everything's easily swapped out depending on what is required to be repaired. You mentioned patch cable connectors for Dragonfly as well. What are we looking at here? Yep, so these are the patch cable connectors that come as part of what's required to plug in the back of the chassis connector. So these are basically MPO dimensioned type connectors and they're small form factor. They are ruggedized. They've got a pretty good anti-kink boot to solution. These come already pre-polished and ready to go. So it's really plugged in the back of the chassis connector and start using the entire system. You don't have to worry about trying to polish this very sophisticated lens ferrule at all. Okay, great. Now, when it comes to this Dragonfly technology, how is it different from other solutions on the market today? What we see here is on a physical contact fiber optic connection, you will notice that the circle on the left represents a nine micron piece of fiber, which is that green dot in the middle of that circle. So if we look below that, in terms of physical contact, what happens is when you connect two fiber cables together, they physically touch each other. And that's how the light is passed back and forth. If there is any dust on any one of those connections, and when they touch each other, it could scratch the other ferrule, and that could hurt the performance of that connection. Also, nine microns is pretty small. So any amount of dust that gets on that small green dot will block the light, and you will probably lose your signal. Now, the XP2 solution that you see on the right, these have lenses on the end of the ferrule. So at the bottom, they don't touch like the physical contact, but to get very, very close and the lights passed back and forth between the lenses. So you're not touching the two fiber ferrules together. You're not introducing any dirt or scratching any of the others. And you have a substantially large surface area where lights passed back and forth. That's 162 microns, which is a factor of 330 times more light being passed back and forth than the physical contact solution. So what that means is a piece of dirt that may block the light on the physical contact fiber connection probably won't even be a factor in the XP2 solution. Now, OpticalCon does incorporate fusion splice technology. It already comes already set up, so it's easy to terminate and set up in the field. And it's consistent quality. You don't need to worry about polishing those XP2 ferrules with the lenses. They already come ready to go. And it's a really simple plug and play solution. Okay, so what are we looking at in terms of optical performance with the Dragonfly solution? So up until recently, expanded beam or lens technologies had really high insertion loss. And so for applications like broadcast applications, studios, et cetera, which have a lot of connection points, having high insertion loss definitely didn't allow you to incorporate that technology just because if you have a lot of connections, you may not have a signal at the very end of, uh, of your cable run. With OpticalCon Dragonfly, we see here an insertion loss of 0.6 dB per connection. And that is 
a great value. Typically, expanded beam connectors had upwards of a typical insertion loss of 1.5 dB. So we're substantially less, which makes it a practical product now to use in broadcast applications. Okay, so what about the mechanical performance here? So on the mechanical side, we have the same strain relief as the advanced series, that 200 pounds of pull force. It is a push-pull locking device. We have a lifetime of 5,000 mating cycles before you'll see any visible wear of the connector. And again, with our optional sealing kits, it is IP68 rated. On the copper side, we have two 24-gauge wires and four 20-gauge wires. Okay, so David, the electrical performance here is also extremely important. What kind of specs does the Dragonfly have? Dragonfly on the power side handles basically all the power requirements that are in any typical broadcast camera today. We handle up to 240 volts AC at uh, 10 amps, 50 hertz, 120 volts AC, 10 amps, 60 hertz, and 300 volts DC at 7 amps. Okay, so we've talked a lot about cleaning our systems. So how should I go about cleaning the Dragonfly? Cleaning Dragonfly is really quick and easy. For the most part, all you need is canned air. You don't have to uh, invest in sophisticated scopes to inspect your fiber, and you don't have to invest in a lot of disposables like isopropyl alcohol and cleaning swabs. If you do have heavy contamination, you may need to spray a little water on the connector just to loosen the material. And again, canned air, for the most part, will get the connector clean. And also, you can use standard MPO cleaning sticks as well to clean the fiber. So much less of an investment of consumable items to clean optical con. And it doesn't require a trained fiber optic technician to clean it. It really is just using canned air. And uh, that should pretty much uh, allow you to continue to use the cable. Great. Now, what kind of applications would be best suited for the Dragonfly? The ideal customers, we can look at uh, colleges and universities that are putting in broadcast facilities and cabling their stadiums. The reason this is a, an ideal solution for this customer base is that, again, they're using a lot of students. They may not have a significant amount of um, fiber optic or broadcast technicians. So it's easy for a student to clean a camera cable if something gets dirty. It's very similar to our customers that are in the house of worship space, where they're also using a lot of volunteer staff and they don't have a lot of uh, fiber optic technicians on staff. So just using canned air, spray the end of the connector with canned air that should clean the fiber and they can go on from there. Also, OpticalCon Dragonfly is ideal for RF over fiber applications, broadcast stations that have uh, studios or patch panel applications. And also, we have a number of industrial customers that enjoy this particular product that includes the two channels of fiber and the power requirements that it has. Okay, so overall, what do you see are the benefits that we're looking at specifically with the Dragonfly solution? So Optical Con Dragonfly is definitely the best lens fiber performance on the market. It's much less dust sensitive than other products out there. It has that 322 times greater surface area on the ferrule. So again, a small piece of dust may not even block the light that's uh, trying to shine through in the connections. Consistent quality that we have with fusion splicing. You don't have to worry about polishing and things in the field. We have that anti-kink boot that we brought over from the advanced series that uh, everyone absolutely loves. It's easy to repair. The maintenance interval, again, is very simple with uh, just, for the most part, using canned air. You don't have to invest in scopes and wipes and isopropyl alcohol. And the chassis connectors have the ability to repair or replace just the affected part that's damaged. So that is a huge cost and time savings factor for customers. Okay, great. So David, I think we're almost out of time. So do you have any last remarks you'd like to share with my audience? Absolutely. As you can see, we have a unique offering with OpticalCon. If you need any more information on a solution using our OpticalCon fiber optic products, please check out our website at neutric.com. Great. Well, David, it has been a pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having us. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Neutrik. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.